Uh, this is a push button method uh, connecting to the internet with the aqua sharp. Okay, so basically what you want to do is um, let's go ahead and get out of all this. Let's start from scratch. So hit the menu button. Okay, and then you want to go to setup. And then go down to internet setup. So make sure you go there, initial setup, and then internet setup, and then using the up down, and then hit enter to access the internet setup. You want to do network setup. Connection type, if it's wireless, this has built in Wi Fi. So you want to do wireless, hit OK, and then go down. If it's wired, obviously click on wired. And um, now you're gonna configure the wireless setup. So click on wireless setup, and then change. And now you could do, if you have a router that has the push button method, you could do that, or you could search for access, but you have to know the password. So you could, when you search, you will pull up whatever is available. And these are available. If it's two bars, it's gonna have weak signal. So it may freeze, the video may freeze. You want three or more bars. But you can always move the router higher up to include, uh, so if the router is higher up and away from other um, electronics, you'll get better signal. So you might have to move the router higher up. And uh, I think the, other, the router's like what, 25 feet away? On the other side of the room? In the other side of the wall actually. But we might have to raise the router and then that'll improve your signal. And um, and if you raise the router and move it away from electronics, like a wi wireless printer, you want to move it away from that. Any kind of electronics, you move it away. It lowers the signal when you have it near electronics. And that you you'll probably end up with three bars then. So anyway, um, yeah, two bars. You want three bars. All right, and then you click on that well, your router, and then put your password in. By hitting enter, and, and then once you're done, you just click on done. But this one, we're gonna do push button method because the router has the push button. So let's uh, get out of that. And exit. And return. And then what we're gonna do is do the push button method. All right, so, yeah. All right, so the, um, manually is the hardest. So if you know the password for your router, do search. If your um, push button method, it'd be this, so WPS. All right, so click on that. Click on push button. All right, start push button method. Next. Okay, now you have about one minute to do it. Let's go ahead and run over here. And here's the push button method. There's the button right there. And you just press it and hold it down for a couple seconds and you'll blink. See it blink? All right, so. Push the button on there. Yeah, so now it should connect right now. See, now it's setting. It's recognizing it. <clears throat> huh? Oh, uh, you just bring it up higher on the desk. Just raise the. Um, yeah, it's under under the desk. So you wanna you wanna higher up. So once you bring it up higher, the signal is not like bound by the under the desk. Oh, okay. So like the more barriers they put in between the signal and the TV, the yeah. router and the TV, right. it's gonna get weaker signal, obviously. And just click a, okay My after name that. Is Ron I'm 48 years old. I love All right, now you can hit. Uh, now you can hit exit. You get out of that. All right. So now well, what we're gonna do is hit the Aquas Net button. The and should uh, probably like let's lower that. I don't want to hear all that. And then once you hit Aquasnet, and then pulls all this stuff up. 
You put your zip code in too. I already put your zip code in. It was underneath the internet setup. And then you put your zip code in, it'll tell you like the weather and all that cool stuff. Hmm. But you get the weather channel anyway. Yeah. So. And then you got actually, there's your apps button on here too. When you hit apps, you got the Netflix and all that. You click on Netflix. And then you have to, yes, accept the agreement. And now it's connecting. Latest software has been found. You want to update that. So once you hit the apps button, you want to click on Netflix to download the Netflix update. Okay. I know. It's the process. So from How this, for right, right now you have two bars, so that's why it's going to take a while from this point on. But anyway, once you uh, have that, and then you have to go on your computer, sign up for Netflix. And uh, once you sign up for Netflix on your computer at Netflix.com, mm -hmm. then you could register this TV to your Netflix account. But you have to go to your uh, account profile mm -hmm. and, ma and click on Manage Netflix Devices. And when you click on Netflix, they'll give you a code on the screen. It'd be like 34445. Now it's, um, you put that code in your Netflix.com um, account and that unlocks your TV as a Netflix device. Okay. So even though everything's a Netflix device, like, you know, Blu-ray players, TVs, even Nintendo Wii, but they're all locked. Until you um, have that, yeah, something. register the code to your account, that unlocks it so you're able to watch it. Oh, okay. You got it? Okay. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a process. Nothing's easy, right? No, no, it's true. They can make it more. Now, we're going to use the TV from that remote? Uh, for oh. the internet, yes. You have to use this oh, for this. Internet. Yeah, internet. Oh. Um, unless ways? you have like a Harmony remote or like, kind of like a Logitech smart remote. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cable remotes aren't going to access the Netflix. But we have to use that for the TV. For TV right. and cable, use the okay. cable okay. universal yeah, remote. Yeah. And what about the DVD player? DVD player, I could program on the cable. Cable oh, remote. Cable it's box. a universal remote, yes. Oh, okay. It has the DVD functions. Oh, okay. This is taking a while. Yeah, I know. Well. All right, I'll end it here.